y'all. Welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. Today we're going to learn how to play Just My Imagination by The Temptations. Let's do it. Ukulele Wine Time. To play this song, you'll just need three chords, C, F, and G7. And the majority of the song is just C and F. And then on the bridge, we hit up that G7 chord just for a small bit, but the majority is C and F. I'll do a brief chord review at the end if you need to check out those chords, and you can check out the timestamps below to jump around. In this video, I'm gonna take you nice and slow through the different sections of the song. We're gonna line up some lyrics with the chords to help you out for an anchor. We'll do a little bit of counting to help you feel more confident when you play the song. We'll check out strumming, talk about starting pitch, We'll do a full playthrough of the song so you can try the whole thing out with me, playing with another person. And of course we'll do a wine break because this is ukulele wine time. Cheers, I'm so happy you're here. Just a few notes about the song before we jump in. This is in the key of C, great key for the ukulele, and that's actually the original key of the recording, so you can play along with it if you'd like. We, our time signature, we're in 4-4, four, four, which means there are four beats or four counts per measure. We'll talk more about that in, in the counting section, but that's our heartbeat of the song. And that's gonna help you feel more confident when you play the song. And then last up, form, very important. So we've got um, the form for this song. We've got intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, and then the chorus takes us out. And you can repeat the chorus um, twice at the end if you'd like. On that note, we're gonna jump into the verse. So it's just four beats of C, and then four beats of F, and it just goes back and forth between C and F. So let's try it. We're gonna line up some lyrics with our chords. So the first lyric we're lining up is the word day. Each day through with a C chord and then on the word watch we switch to F. I watch up as she passes by two, three, two, two, three, four and just back and forth between C and F. Our next words we're lining up are the word say on a C chord and such on an F chord. Let's try it. I say to myself, you're such a lucky And those ones don't exactly line up with the chords. This song is, is nice and syncopated, which means that um, we've got a lot of things that happen on the upbeat. So we've got our downbeat, which is our big one, two, three, four. And so when I bold those lyrics on the screen, that's when a chord lines up with a word on a downbeat. Otherwise, if it's slightly off on an upbeat, I won't bold it. Um, so I just like to have those as anchors for you just to help you um, sing and strum at the same time. Okay, let's keep going. We've got one more line in the verse. We do have one more anchor here. Um, the word all lines up with your C chord. Out of all the fellows in the world, she belongs. I guess we could do um, long of belongs, lines up with our secret. She belongs to you. Okay, that's our whole verse. Let's put that together nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Each day through my window, I watch up as she passes by. such a lucky Okay, and then we're in 
on the chorus. Really fast, let's count that. Well, not really fast, <laughs> really slow. But before we jump to the chorus, we're gonna just do some counting just so you can better internalize the song, feel more confident when you're playing, especially if you're gonna play it with another person. So let's try it once through the verse counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. C, So that, that counting may seem pretty, quote, easy, um, but we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna come back to that word syncopation. We're gonna start adding some, when we get to our strumming pattern, doing a couple things on the upbeat. So having that basic, simple counting down is really important if you wanna feel really confident playing on the upbeat, which fits the rhythm of this song. So more on that later. Let's get to the chorus next. So same two chords, actually same counting, it's just uh, half is short, or it's just half of the verse, so just C and F. So let's line up some lyrics with our chords here. So on the word just, we're hitting a C chord, um, and then on the word running, we go to F, then on the word running, we're back on a C chord. Let's try it. But it was just my imagination. Running away with me. Two, three. And for that second line of lyrics for the chorus, we're lining up um, the word just. One more time with our C chord. It was just my imagination. And then the way of away. Running away with me. Okay? So just and the way of away are our word anchors for the chorus. So let's try the whole chorus nice and slow together. Here we go, one. Oh, and just a note, the vocal line starts on a pickup. And then remember on the word just, we hit our C chord. But it was just, and that's beat one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. But it was just my imagination. Okay, y'all, we, we checked out the verse chords, the bridge chords. Um, the second verse chords are the same as the first ones. And now it's time to check out the bridge. So the bridge hangs out on a C chord for a long time. So that first whole set of lyrics, every night on my knees I pray, dear Lord, hear my plea. We're just hanging out on a C chord. Don't ever love and take a love from me or I would. Okay, the only time we're switching chords on the bridge is on the word surely, surely. And we're switching to our G7 chord there. Surely die, her love is heavenly. And then it's C chord for the rest of the time. Okay, so C chord all the way, except until you hit surely. And then you have two measures of G7, and then C until you get to the chorus again. Let's put it all together, we're gonna to try it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, C. Every night on my knees I pray. Dear Lord, hear my plea. Don't ever let another take her love from me or I would surely Die. Her love is heavenly. When her arms enfold me, I hear a tender rhapsody. But 
in reality she doesn't even know me it was just my imagination and then we're back into the chorus um one thing about playing this song um, solo if you're playing and singing it or even just playing it for yourself. This song has all those awesome background vocals. So coming out of the bridge and back into the chorus, that last little line, but in reality, in the recording, he kind of slows it down and then the, the rest of the singers come in and take the chorus. We're not able to do that so much if you're just singing it by yourself. So you can kind of, um, Sing that last line a little quicker. She doesn't even know me. It was just my imagination. Just to make that fit and time to go back to the chorus. Or if it's just you singing the song and you want to stretch that out. She doesn't even know me. You can kind of pause there. And it was just my imagination. And then you can hit up the chorus. So. Those are kind of two options there for when you're creating your arrangement of the song. A note about counting the bridge. I'm actually not gonna count the whole bridge for us, um, but if you would like to um, count along with the recording, you've got, so the first little section is eight measures or eight bars. So that means you count to four eight times. You've got six bars of C and then two bars of G7. Okay, so that's the first part. You hit the surely die. After that, we actually have six bars of C, which is kind of an unusual number. Most of the time in music, things are in groups of four or eight. So we've got six bars of C. So if you're interested in the counting, um, you can follow along on the printable available below. I've got the chord and lyric chart. You can like count that out, um, or you can you can listen to the original recording and you can practice counting. That would be a great thing to do. Maybe it's your homework you want. <laughs> okay, so check that out. That's basically the whole song. Um, for the intro of the song, same thing. You can just go back and forth between your C and your F chord. So four counts of C, C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, F, two, three, each day and then you're in on the verse. That's a nice, simple intro for you. Okay, y'all, it's time to talk about strumming. So um, the basic, simple version of strumming for this song, that's what we've been doing to learn the chords. That's just a simple downstroke on each chord. And now a note about this, I alluded to this earlier. We were talking about downbeats, and then we used the word syncopation, which means that cool stuff happens on the upbeat. So we've got one, two, three. Oh, let me do it this way. <laughs> one, two, three, four. That's our, our repeating beat, our heartbeat of the song, right? But we've got our down, but then we've got our up. So the upbeat, so we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And it's Cool stuff is gonna start happening on those ands, or on our upbeats. So, with that in mind, version one, just nice and simple, if that's like, whoa, that's too much for me, maybe you wanna just keep it simple with your downbeats. So that's just our C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, and two, and three, and four, and and three and four and okay so we're setting the stage for our strumming pattern option two where we're gonna have two uh, down strokes per chord and it's gonna happen on the end of beat two so here's what that's gonna sound like one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two
Okay, so I'm gonna give you a, an alternative. If that is tricky for you to count and sing that, or to play and sing that. So one tactic is to just do down, two down strokes, right? You're counting your one and two and three. One and two and three. And I'm not moving my wrist any, any extra there. Another option for you, if you really wanna keep that beat, and this will actually help you with the third strumming pattern that we're gonna do, but it's to keep your wrist going for all of those one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, one and two and three. So my wrist is doing this the whole time. It's kind of like a little metronome keeping the beat there, and I'm not, um, I'm only brushing the strings on the beat that I want to. So on my downbeat, on my beat one, so on the beats that, on the end of two, I'm bringing my hand to brush, to strum the chord, but on the other ones, I'm just strumming the air. So that can help keep the beat if you'd like to try that out, see which one works better for you. Um, just a note on that one, the end of two will be an upstroke. One and, sorry, one and two and three and four and one. And you can do that for the verse and the chorus. It was just my imagination. And two and three and four. Running away with me and four and one and two and three. So that adds a little more um, rhythmic variation, fits the song nicely. Okay, so that's option two. That brings us to strumming pattern option number three. So listen first, I'm gonna show this to you and then I'm gonna break it down. One, two, three. break that down just a little bit. This is where that syncopation comes into play. And you may have noticed that our F chord is on not a downstroke, but an upstroke or an upbeat. Okay, so here's what the counting would sound like, nice and slow. So we've got two, three, four, one, If you've watched more of my videos, um, you'll you'll have heard me say this before, but I love uh, hammering this point home. But it's just that no strumming pattern is like set in stone. So if you are adding in uh, more downs and ups that feel good to you, or if you're taking some out, you're like that's too many. I want to simplify it, and you find a pattern that works better for you. That's amazing. That just means you're using your creative musician ears. Um, you're creating your own arrangement of the song, and that means you're just thinking on your own as a musician. So I wanna say cheers to that, that is awesome. Um, and on that note, I think it's time for a wine break. We've been working really hard breaking down these strumming patterns, um, taking a look at this seemingly simple song, but when we add the rhythms, it, it um, there's a lot more there than meets the ear. So cheers to you for being here. I'm so happy you're here taking time out of your day to be creative. I see you out there. Cheers. And just taking time 
to learn and play a song on your ukulele. Um, I hope this video is helpful to you in your ukulele journey. If it is, please choose the like button below and I hope you subscribe for more ukulele rain time. Let's briefly talk about starting pitch. So if you're singing and playing the song, so you'll always know where you are and how to find your vocal note. So we're in the key of C. That means C is our home bass or do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So you can play your open C string. It's the second string down from your face to just get that um, in your ears. Do, and a good uh, way to frame all the starting pitches in this song is to sing do, mi, so, mi, do, so, do. If you ever took choir, you might remember doing that to establish the key for sight reading or for a new song that you're learning. Great way to get the song in your ear. So let's apply that to our song. So we're singing do, so, and that's our first pitch or one, five, each, and that is a G. So on the word each, that's a G. So if you don't have a low G on your ukulele, um, you've got the high G there, but that can still help you out. Mm. <laughs> My phone was in the key. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay. <laughs> each, and then day is our me. So we've got do, so me. Each day is so me. Five, three. <laughs> oh, so we've got each day, and that is your open E string. Okay, so that's an E on the word day. Day through, and if you really wanna check it there, you've got lots of open strings to check, so your E string to your C string. So the first three notes are G, E, C, or five, three, one, or so, me, do. Okay, so that's for our verse. I hope that helps, I hope that wasn't too much, but I really wanted to break it down there for you. So that's our verse, each day through my window, and then on the chorus, but it was just, so it starts on so again, or that five, or G, but it was just, just, and on the word just, we've got an open C string. But it was just. Okay, so that's for the chorus. Uh, let's talk bridge. Every night. That's an open E string. Also, if you're, we're in our key of C. Do, re, mi, or one, two, three. Every night on my knees I pray. Again, we're sticking to the me, do, so. So the bridge starts on an E. All right, I hope you found that helpful, breaking down the starting pitches for all of the sections of the song. Now we're ready to do the whole playthrough of the song. We're gonna hit up the intro, the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, and then we'll do two choruses at the end. That'll be our form. And we talked earlier about all the different strumming patterns, so I'm going to um, kind of cycle through those, but please feel free, you have my permission to do your own thing for the strumming pattern. You don't have to match mine, we're just playing along together, but I will be catching those, um, the F chord on the, oop, that didn't sound good, <laughs> on the end of four, one and two and three and four and. So I will be catching those a lot, so just keep that in mind if you're choosing to do the simpler strumming pattern. A bird has landed on the air conditioner and is making... Do you hear it? <laughs> I feel like... Bell or Snow White. <laughs> okay, let's try a run through. We might have some delightful bird. Um, sounds in the background. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, Say to myself, you're sad. 
you guys follow me on the ending there? I decided to tag that little last, that last phrase a couple times. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me know how it went. Let me know if you try this out at home. Once again, you have my permission to mix and match that strumming pattern, try out um, different ones, whatever feels good to you right now, or if you wanna challenge yourself to add some more rhythm, uh, you have my permission, enjoy. If you found this video helpful, once again, I hope you cherish the like button below and subscribe for more ukulele wine time. Um, and I will see you in the next video. All right, cheers y'all, bye. Ukulele wine time. Here's our chord review. We're gonna take a look at our C chord first. Ukulele finger numbers, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna take our third finger, our ring finger on the one, two, three, the third fret. That's gonna be the bottom string closest to the floor. That is our C chord. Okay, or your G, C, E on your A string. So third fret of the A string played with your third finger. That's our C chord. All right, so we move on to our F chord next. We'll use P sign fingers or one and two. So we're gonna need the first and the second fret respectively for, the, for our one and uh, first and second finger. Let's start with our middle finger, our second finger on the second fret on the top string or your G string. And then you skip a string, uh, and then your first finger is on the first fret there for your F chord. It's our F chord. Okay, and then for our uh, G7 chord, you can actually keep your uh, first finger right where it is. And now we're gonna do an upside down triangle on the fretboard. This is, so the point's gonna be at the top. And sorry, I mean upside down because um, I talk about the triangle for the uh, G major chord. This is a G7 chord, so we flip that triangle upside down. So the point is at the top here. And then um, your second finger, second fret, second string down, or your C string. Then skip a string, and then same fret, your ring finger comes down to the last string there. Ooh. Okay, so that's your G7 chord. And that only happens in the bridge of this song. Okay, I hope you found that chord review helpful in playing the entire song. Let me know how it goes, and I will see you soon. Cheers. Ukulele wine time.